Hello YouTube. This is gonna be the most ghetto tutorial you've ever saw of how to mix vocals on FL Studio. But it's gonna be so easy, like anybody could do it. And if I can, with these tight braids connecting to my brain, making me go insane. I know you can. So Let's get into it. Tutorial, I decided to use the Future 100 Racks beat. I'll let me go ahead and play it real quick. You know, something simple. Something simple, something light. So I'm going to go ahead and put a hook in there, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the raw verse, and then show you how to mix it. Make sure when you record, you click an insert, and then hit record. And I'm gonna put mine into the audio. And also, when it does this, I kind of like want to move this knob so that way it goes in through both channels. And I hit this button. So basically, when you hit this little thing, while you record, you won't hear your voice while you record. Because I know when I hear my own self while I record, that kind of messes me up. So it's just a little tip. I recorded it. Well, mine's first. It looked like this. Kind of just you know all low and stuff. So I double clicked it. Hit this button and I hit normalize and that basically just brought it up louder. So this is what it sounds like without any effects or anything. Basically trash. So what we're gonna do is we'll double click it again, and then you're gonna want to move this where it says track. Just move that down to insert two. Okay. Now, when you do that, you want to hit this first button right here. You want to go to insert two, and on the side you're gonna see this thing. It's gonna say mixer. You're gonna see all these slots and stuff. So just hit this right here. And then the first thing we're going to do is try to take that background noise out. Like, I really couldn't hear it when the beat or well, when the song dropped, but it's always good. So, when you open the limiter, you right-click this arrow. And you're going to go down to noise gate. That way, when you play it, there's not going to be so much background noise. You'll be litty. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to limiter again. And we're going to right click and hit max loudness. Now, when you actually play the song, you might want to turn this down a little bit. I know that since mine's is kind of really not that loud anyways, I'm going to just put mine's about right here. Next thing you do, go to slot three and then go to fruity param parametric EQ equalizer two. Right click and hit vocal presence. Then just move this down. Move this down. All right. And then also hit it again one more time. Well, this is for my vocals. I mean, you know, you this is optional. It, only if you want to do this, you, you have. You, only if you want to. This is not something you have to do. It's just something I do. Shout out to Spain, by the way. He he gave me this idea to for the equalizer. And shout out to Raya, because that's my... I mean... Yeah, shout out to Raya. Um, Alright, next thing. Reverb. For this song, I really don't need a lot of reverb. So I'm just going to right-click and hit Small Studio. And then... Let's see how it sounds now. Six side, six side, ooh. 
Hey, I, I got a hundred rebels on the road. Really, y'all really don't matter. Hey, I switch. Hey, I switch streets like Alan. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna turn my reverb down. And also, since I have some empty spots, I'm going to go here and I'm just going to hit. Oh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Uh, crap, 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 crap. Delay 2. Free delay 2. Now, when you hit free delay 2, you kind of want to bring this knob down. You know, like click it, hold it, scroll, bring your mouse down. I'm going to bring mine like right here. And then I'm going to kind of just adjust the time a little bit. You know, just keep playing with these knobs. Like the time knob and the volume knob, and then you should really get it right. So, I got a hundred rep outside of rap. Really, y'all really don't matter. Hey, I switch, I say, I switch streets like Alan. I switch streets like Curry. I be dropping dimes. All right, it sounds pretty good so far to me. Now, last thing, auto tune. Now, I have auto tune Evo VST, but I feel like not everybody has this, so I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use Pitcher. Now, the thing about Pitcher is you have to play around with Pitcher till you get the right uh, key. So let's just keep playing with it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the auto tune. Anyways, but it's always optional. The thing about pictures, you just keep having to play around with the keys, really. And once you keep playing around with the major and minor keys, you should get the right one you need. And also, um, key for knowledge fast is like super auto tune, like kind of like T Pain, really. Medium is more for like just. You want to sound like The weekend, You know it's for subtle. But you still got to sing though. And slow is just like the auto is super slow. So if you're like singing really well. And there's just some spots you want to hit on time. I think slow is for you. So yeah. The more you move the knob. The more auto tune you get. The mo the If you move it down the less. So really yeah. And I know this freestyle is trash. But hey. This is how it sounds. Final project. Yep. I hope if you watch this video, I know it was ghetto, but I hope it was somewhat helpful to you. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>